everybody. Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Mrs. H. I'm so happy you could be with us tonight. I figure summer is almost over and fall's about to start. And I figured, hmm, what better way to have bedtime stories but the boy who wouldn't go to bed. This book is written by Helen Cooper. And we'd like to thank Dial Books for Young Readers for allowing us to read this story tonight. To the boy who wouldn't go to bed. By Helen Cooper. Bedtime, said the mother. No, said the boy, playing in his car. It's still light. Because it's summer, said the mother. See a little boy, he's in his car, and there's mom. And even though the sun's still out, it's time for bed. You might notice that it's starting to get a little darker earlier and earlier. We're going to have the autumn equinox this week. A little while later, bedtime, said the mother. No said the boy, playing in his car. I'm going to stay up all night. Oh, no, you're not, said the mother. But the boy revved up his car, vroom, chug, 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 then drove away as fast as he could, and the mother couldn't catch him. See, there he goes, driving off. Mom's running after him. And he's too fast in his car. He hadn't driven very far at all before he met a tiger. Let's play at worry, said the boy. But the tiger said, I'm too tired. Nighttime is for snoring. Yawn the tiger. Come back in the morning. I'll play with you then. See, there's a the little boy, and there's the tiger. The tiger just wants to go to sleep. Do you want to go to sleep yet? No, you're like the little boy. Are you going to stay up all night? I wonder if your mom or dad's going to say no, too. So off zoomed the boy. Vroom, chug a chug, till he met a troop of soldiers. Let's have a parade, said the boy. But the soldiers were too sleepy. Nighttime is for dreaming, not parading, said the captain. We're going back to our castle, and so should you. But the boy didn't want to. He trundled away in his car. Vroom, chug, chug, as fast as he could. He stopped for a moment as a train rolled by. Race you to the station, called the boy. But the train was too tired. Nighttime is for resting, not racing, said the train. I'm going home to my depot, and so should you. Are you home getting all ready for bed? Are you going to a Winksville? Gonna stay up all night, huh? But still the boy rumbled along. Down the road, vroom, chug a chug, till he met some musicians. Let's have a party and dance all night, said the boy. But the musicians were too drowsy. We're really awfully tired, they said. Give us, give us a ride home and we'll play you a lullaby instead. Oh, that's very nice. Give him a ride and they'll play some music for you. That seems like a nice compromise. The musicians played such sweet tunes 
that the sun was lulled to sleep. There's the sun going down and the moon came up. The boys' car went slower and slower and slower. And soon the musicians were sound asleep. Even the boy's car stopped. It had fallen asleep too. I think I know what the boy's gonna do next, now that everybody's asleep. The boy looked up at the moon. Can we have a midnight feast, he wailed. Oh, it's bedtime, sighed the moon drowsily. And even the moon closed his eyes and dozed off. Now the boy had to push the car in the dusky dark. It was hard work. And soon he'd gone as far as he could. He stood quite still awake and alone with the sleeping world all around him. But there was someone else who was not asleep. Someone who was looking for the boy. Who do you think would be looking for the boy? Ah, <sighs> I think you're right. and getting nearer and nearer and nearer. Do you recognize who's there? That's right, you were right. Someone who was ever so sleepy, but couldn't go to bed until the boy did. It was his mother, and the boy hugged her. Then the mother lifted up the boy with one arm and pushed the car with the other. She was a very strong mother. Mm -hmm. Holding both the boy and the car, and she trundled and bundled them all the way home. <sighs> Bedtime, said the boy sleepily. No, whispered the mother. You said you were staying up all night. So how do you feel? Do you feel like staying up all night still? Oh, you on the boy. All right then, said his mother. I think someone's going to bed. What do you think? Good night. I hope you enjoyed our story, The Boy Who Wouldn't Go to Bed by Helen Cooper. Now, did you ever wonder what happens when you go to sleep? What are everybody else in the world is doing? All those other animals that stay up in the night are nocturnal friends? Well, I have another story for you. It's called while the world is sleeping. And this is written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and it's illustrated by Daniel Kirk. Ah, I see the moon and I see an owl. I see deer. I wonder who else we're gonna see in our story. We would like to thank Orchard Books for allowing us to read this story tonight. 
while the world is sleeping by Pamela Edwards. Did you see the mice? I saw the mice on it. Oh, oh someone's going to sleep. Is that you yet? Not yet? Well, then it's a good thing we have this story to keep you up. Oh, look at the beautiful owl. Come, little sleepyhead. Come with me. I left my hidey hole in the, high in the tree. Oh, what wondrous things we'll see while the world is sleeping. So while everybody's gone to bed, the owl's going to take you for an adventure to see what everybody's doing while we're sleeping. There's the moon. There's the owl coming into the window. Now, in case you missed it, do you see what she's holding there? That's right. She's holding an owl. That's where that owl came from. So, Climb aboard and hold on tight as I spread my wings in flight. We'll journey through the night while the world is sleeping. Over rooftops we will sail, above the hills, across the vale, up towards the moon so pale while the world is sleeping. Do you see her? The owl's taking her for a ride. Would you like to go for a ride on the owl? Oh, some of you say yes. Some of you are shaking your head now. Don't want to go that high at night? No, I don't blame you. But maybe it would be fun. Oh, look, there they are. In the meadow far below, see Father Stag and Mother Doe. Tiny fawns spring to and fro while the world is sleeping. Do you see? So we have Mother Doe and Father Stag. He belongs to the antlers. And then we have all the fawns. See them? They're running under the moonlight. Ah, silver fish are swimming past in the river running fast. Will they reach the sea at last while the world is sleeping? While the deer is taking a drink, look at all the silvery fish. They're all swimming in the river. Oh, look who's next. A bright-eyed fox is on the prowl. He hopes to take a juicy fowl until he hears a guard dog howl while the world is sleeping. See, there's our owl up there. There's our guard dog, making sure the fox doesn't come too close. Ah, see the baby rabbits as they play, round and round the bales of hay. They'll have fun to light of day while the world is sleeping. Yeah, you're gonna run around the hay, day, the hay bales? Maybe a little closer to Halloween, maybe next month. Ooh. A beaver couple, fur a gleam, work together as a team as they start their dam upstream while the world is sleeping. See, look at our beaver friends. They're working together to get all the wood together to make a dam. And look, do you see? There's our owl and friend in the tree watching the beavers make their dam. Oh, in the woods, a porcupine rattles quills to send a sign don't come near this food is mine. 
while the world is sleeping. Yeah, she's pointing to the porcupine. His quills, they're sharp. We have to be careful. He's saying, hey, don't eat my food. I don't think she's going to take it from him. Oh, look. A wise mouse mother squeaks. Alarm! And tries to keep her babies calm. No slithering snake must do them harm while the world is sleeping. Up, oh, here comes the snake. No snake. You can't scare the baby mice. Ooh, do you know what animal this is? That's right, that's a raccoon. A sleek raccoon with banded eyes takes his nightly exercise. In a garbage can, he'll find his prize while the world is sleeping. You see the garbage cans? Oh, I think the raccoon's trying to get into there. Have a tasty snack. Is he going to have a midnight snack at your house? Nope, I hope not. A lean, long-tailed, and slinky rat keeps an eye out for a cat. A bat glides like an arrow bat while the world is sleeping. See, there's the bat near the owl doing loop-de-loops. There's lots of animals that come out at night. But now it's time to rest your head, safely tucked up in your bed, as over earth the shadows spread while the world is sleeping. Time to go back home. For soon the rooster's song will warn, dark is gone. It's almost dawn. The day is waiting to be born. The world has finished sleeping. Rise and shine, time to get up. I hope you liked our story, While the World is Sleeping, by Pamela Duncan Edwards. So are you tired? You're a little sleepy? but you're still awake, well, maybe we can have time for one more story. You think you can do it? You think you can do one more story? Excellent. I have one more for you. It's called, I Love You to the Moon and Back, illustrated by Tim Warms. And we'd like to thank Tiger Tales for allowing us to read this story. I love our time together as we start each happy day. Do you see the sun rising in the morning? If you get up early enough for school, sometimes you see the sunrise and our friends are starting the day together. Oh, I love our bath time silliness, the way we splash and play. It's nice having a bath before bed, isn't it? Sometimes it helps calm us down and sometimes it helps wake us up. What is it like for you? Good for you. Oh, I love to share the magic of the shining skies above. Have you ever looked up at the night sky? Do you ever see the stars or the moon? Maybe you see the Milky Way or the Aurora Borealis. There's all kinds of things to see in the night sky. Take a look. In fact, I think tonight's the full moon.
and think of all the different ways that we can show our love. How do you show someone you love them? Oh, you give hugs and kisses. That's nice. You know what our bears do? Like when we're touching noses. Nosy, nosy, nosy. Eskimo kisses. Yeah, those are some things we might call them. Playing chase. Ah, even the chipmunks are getting into the act. Do you see them? Our chipmunk friends with our bears. Or seeing friends. What friends do you see? Ah, you saw the owl and the chipmunks, the rabbits, the fox, the squirrels, the bears. Hey, these are some of our friends from the other story. That's right. Our love is always with us and it never ends. Ah, uh, we've got our rabbit snuggling up with our fox, which are snuggling up with our chipmunks. It's nice. So snuggle safely in my arms. Your day is nearly done. Is your day almost over? I know mine is. I love you to the moon and stars, my precious little one. Yep, there they are, looking at the night sky. See, there's the full moon in our story. And do you see those little stars all around them? Time for bed. I hope you're sleepy enough to go now. And I hope you enjoy it. I love you to the moon and back by Tim Morris. Well, thank you for coming to our story hour tonight. Hope to see you next month. Take care. Bye, everybody.